I never thought I would be one of those people that comes crying on the internet. And if my English is not comprehensible, it's fine. It's not my first language. But this has to be said. I'm so sick. I'm so sick and tired of Americans playing your identity politics. I'm so, I'm so sick of it. You were all able to comprehend pinkwashing. You were all able to comprehend how using one's identity in the name of fucking... <laughs> American liberals don't realise that the reason that the rest of the world has to give a shit about who comes into power there is because the rest of the world suffers from America's foreign policy. But Kamala will at least improve domestic policies. She's been vice president for four years now. If she wanted to improve policy, she had the political influence to do so. Your country isn't shit because of a Democrat government. Liberals weaponizing anti-blackness to defend the US empire all because they want a token ethnic president, who by the way was an ex-cop, the same people that are brutally murdering African Americans is a choice. And let's not sit here and pretend like she cares about you or is going to do for ethnic minorities. Kamala is part of the system that you're fighting against. She's a sellout, just like every other token ethnic who gets into any position of... All right, guys, so an update on the woke civil war, okay? The latest battle on the left is between the pro-Palestinians, a.k.a. the anti-genocide protesters, right? This is what they call themselves, okay? I'm just using what they call themselves versus the black liberal women who want to vote for Kamala Harris uh, because they believe that she's black, okay? Because these black liberal women were supposed to be boycotting Joe Biden. They were supposed to be not voting for Democrats, sitting out the election in solidarity with Gaza and the Palestinians. However, as soon as Kamala Harris became the nominee, they changed their mind, even though Kamala Harris is not any different than Joe Biden on the policy. And that has caused a whole lot of conversation online between the pro-Palestinians and the liberal black women. Okay, I want to remind you guys uh, that one of the arguments that went viral featured a liberal black woman who basically said, hey, I'm going to take out the Palestinian flag for my profile since you guys are upset that I'm voting for Kamala Harris versus a Palestinian woman who got upset with this black woman for supporting Kamala Harris despite the fact that she claims to be on the side of a ceasefire in the Palestinians. Take a look. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris took millions of dollars from the Israeli lobby. Okay, and what other politicians have done it? Is it Donald Trump setting up the um, oh, United Donald States Trump embassy? Trump is worse for Palestine. Okay, then what is the outcome that you are expecting when you are telling people, people that Kamala Harris isn't a good option? What's the what viable the option? Y'all aren't giving us any alternative. Y'all are just coming on here throwing dirt on Kamala Harris. I did give, and I did give alternatives. What is it? What is it? To to pressure Kamala with your vote by saying, I will vote for you if you make a better policy on Palestine. And then what will happen if we don't vote for her? If but she I doesn't can't follow tell through. you not to vote for her. But the thing is, then that means we are actually standing on business. We're telling her we're not going to vote for her when we are. But saying that she needs to change her policy. The that's not when, the, point. the thing is, why weren't why wasn't anybody pushing this when we thought Biden was running for office? Why didn't anybody do that before? We were. We were. I and was. I was making twenty videos about Biden. And guess what? She just came up for the candidacy. And then as far as finding another option beyond but, Biden, but beyond also, Kamala, I've made videos with what are y'all doing? Like, what are y'all doing to make a change besides you. saying putting pressure on her? Okay. Okay. It's, it's I've not interviewed, working. That's I've clearly interviewed. not working. The election is what, three months away? What do y'all want us to do as black Americans when y'all are coming into our comment section and you're saying it's not pal Palestinians, what but I you think, jump right on I that boat. What I need to not do is say we, because I never told you not to vote for Kamala Harris. You, yeah, so eventually this pro-Palestinian woman ended up folding to the uh, black liberal mob right? when it comes to this issue of Kamala Harris. And she ended up apologizing for an issue that I feel like she is correct on in the sense that it does not make sense for these black liberal women to come out here and to all of a sudden now want to vote for Kamala Harris when Kamala Harris has not changed her position on what's happening over there. She hasn't proven that she can actually get a ceasefire done and voting for her probably is not going to help them with the situation. Okay. If you weren't voting for Joe Biden because of this, it makes no sense to vote for Kamala Harris. But again, this pro-Palestinian woman, 
<laughs> basically got shamed into submission, okay? Shamed into an apology. Over the last couple of days, there have been a ton of conversation regarding the video I made and the live I did. I just wanna say that I handled this in the absolute worst way possible and I wanna apologize. Watching the videos back of the live, I literally saw myself acting in anger and frustration towards a black woman when that was just not the conversation that needs to be had and i shouldn't have even gone on live i should have texted Tori directly and just apologized but i had a lot of ego and anger about it and i handled it so poorly i never ever made the video in Tori trying to um pit people against a black woman but looking back like that should have never happened yeah, so what you have here is the victimhood Olympics, okay, <laughs> because <laughs> the pro-Palestinians, they're upset, okay? They're really upset because they're like, listen, we have stood with you guys through all, all of the uh, accusations of bigotry and hate, right? All of the so-called oppression, and you guys aren't standing with us by <laughs> refusing to vote for Kamala Harris. In fact, one Palestinian went as far as to call the black folks... <laughs> <laughs> that are voting for Kabla, no matter what, right? Because she's black. Uh, she actually called them um, uh, colonizers, right? She said that they were colonizers. And she's sick of the identity politics while in tears, bro. I never thought I would be one of those people that comes crying on the internet. And if my English is not comprehensible, it's fine. It's not my first language. But this has to be said. I'm so sick. I'm so sick and tired of Americans playing your identity politics. I'm so, I'm so sick of it. You're coming on the internet, coming telling Palestinians how they're playing oppression Olympics, how there's other genocides. We are very well aware. We're from the global south. We are aware to what's happening. I'm and half Iraqi and half Palestinian. We are aware of the oppression that's happening. And it's never because of us. It's because of you. It's because of you. It's your government. It's the people that you keep voting. And it's your tax money. I've never been in the U.S. And I never fucking will be. Never fucking will be. You guys are whack. You're insane. You're so beyond selfish. It's insane. A black woman in presidency is not gonna save us and no i'm not saying vote trump in fucking do something do something i'm so sick and tired of this do something it's your responsibility what more do you need to see black people also wear a uniform and get on a plane and come to our countries and kill us you vote the same fucking melanated fucking people into government that sign papers to kill us i don't want to hear it anymore I don't want to hear it. You are our colonizers. I do not want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm done. I'm done. We've watched our people die for years. We're not the people that oppressed you. Instead of taking a second, a second to think how identity politics is so toxic and is killing people, you're playing into the entire agenda yeah so you see that you heard that okay you have these black liberals being accused of being colonizers i definitely didn't have that in my 2024 bingo card okay but that's what's happening okay there's a full-blown woke civil war between black liberals and the palestinians wow amazing stuff okay so the uh the black liberals responded to this woman uh <laughs> accusing them of being colonizers you said you can't ask a grieving people to just vote for a person guess what african americans in this country have been grieving and are still grieving every single day we worry about our safety every single day we leave home with the tension that you could never even imagine a feeling that we might not make it home because even though we are citizens of this country and we can vote a police officer can shoot us without repentance we can be mishandled by regular citizens and still be put in the wrong so you can't ask an aggrieving people to vote for someone 
who is going to embolden those very people that have continued to harm us continuously mm -hmm. for 400 years while the people who are asking us to place pressure on this black woman who we're seeing no one in the black community said we 100 percent agree with kamala we don't want a genocide to happen either but guess what we don't want a domestic genocide to continue to happen to us because what they're doing right now is repealing our rights they are 100 percent right now erasing our history in this country you cannot teach history african-american history in alabama Texas and Florida schools right now. Right now they're erasing the fact that they put us in slavery and calling it some kind of messed up job core where it gave us actionable skills that could possibly make us money for the future. So please excuse us if we don't agree and don't agree with the fact that you don't see the nuances of what we have to deal with in this country. This is a lesser of two evils. Secondarily to that point, when it comes to the people who we are supposed to be defending over in Palestine, guess what? Those same communities treat us with voracious racism. And you're asking us, don't look at them. Don't look at our racism. Don't look at our past history and how we've treated your communities. Help us, save us, be there for us. But guess what? When we need you guys, no one's standing up for us. When Massey passed away just a few weeks ago, I didn't hear anybody with a red, green, and white flag or a red, green, black flag, whatever, screaming, say her name. Hmm? When we have gone through this oppression for the past 400 years, why didn't any of you come racing on boats to come and help and save us? <laughs> You can't make this up, bro. You cannot make this up, man. These two groups of people, they're literally fighting over who's the biggest victim, okay? You got the so-called uh, black liberals talking about how black people are being oppressed 400 years. Oh, they're not teaching black history in school. They're killing us in the street. We got to vote for the black woman. <laughs> 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 boy the woke wars bro the woke wars never get old they never get old man these people are literally in a competition for who's the biggest victim right who's the biggest victim okay it went from the jews versus the palestinians to the palestinians versus the blacks okay i mean i'm just saying it never will end okay so that being said um you know hey i look at it like this man i'm a very cynical person the reason why i'm so fascinated by this story is because i'm holding out hope that the pro-palestinians they're gonna come through with this boycott right you're gonna boycott kamala you're not gonna vote for her in michigan and pennsylvania and and uh wisconsin right you're not gonna vote for her in these key states where you know some of these states like again michigan wisconsin they have large arab american population so on this issue they, they are actually really correct right in the sense that if all of these black people who are now supporting kamala um if you were not supporting the biden administration there is literally no reason for you to support kamala right if you are sitting out because of the so-called genocide in solidarity with the palestinians aka communist understanding right because that's all the solidarity thing means it just means in communism right in the name of marxism this is what we're doing okay we're standing together if you were doing that before kamala harris running should not change your mind right just because she is black right it, it literally makes no sense whatsoever so i understand why the pro-palestinians upset right if i was the pro-palestinians i would be heated bro. i would be so heated because again there is no policy difference between Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, especially on this issue, okay? So I'm just saying, I am rooting for the boycott. That is going to increase Trump's chance of winning. And at this point, I really believe that Arab Americans should strongly consider voting for Trump, right? Strongly consider voting for Trump, okay? I can't promise that he's going to get a ceasefire. I can't promise that he's going to save Gaza, right? I can't, right? But I don't think that any politician can make that promise honestly, okay? Because I think that... Again, it's a very unfortunate thing to say, but I'm a truth teller, right? And sometimes the truth is hard. I really do think that Israel is going to take all that land in the long run. It's not about if, it's about when, okay? And all of the politicians, all of the politicians 
are pro-Israel, right? It's just about which one do you want, right? Because they're all pro-Israel. So, I mean, again, voting on this issue in and of itself, I think is kind of silly. But I do understand the pro-Palestinian viewpoint in regards to being mad at the blacks who, you know, stood in solidarity with Palestine to boycott Joe Biden. And now all of a sudden they want to hop on the Kamala train for reasons that make absolutely zero sense whatsoever. Because, again, from a policy perspective, she's not different uh, than Joe Biden. Right. So I think that if you're an Arab American, if you're a Muslim American, you should roll the dice on Trump because I think that you have a much better chance of getting peace under Trump than you do under uh, Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. Um, but with that being said, uh, it seems as if, um, the pro-Palestinians, they are ready to show out at the DNC. Okay. Everybody's expecting them to be protesting in mass. Okay. In fact, they pulled up to a private meeting between, uh, Kamala Harris's campaign staffers and, uh, they were causing chaos. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you get the gist of what's happening here, right? This is the pro-Palestinian mob, and I believe this took place today in Harlem. And um, if this is what they're going to be doing, okay, at the DNC, hey, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to say anything about it, right? I am not going to interrupt the pro-Palestinians and the Democrats as they fight, right? So, I mean, you know, it is what it is, okay? I just personally believe that they should <laughs> go through with this boycott, okay? Stick to your guns, okay? Do not vote for Kamala Harris. In fact, you should vote for Trump, right? If you're not gonna vote for Trump, maybe Jill Stein is your person, okay? I really do think, though, that you should strongly consider voting Trump because at the very least, you're gonna have a much better domestic situation if you vote Trump than you would if you get Kamala Harris. And I, I don't think it matters who you vote for in regards to that conflict. I think that the outcome in the long run is going to be the same. But regardless, you know, I, I understand where you're coming from. So if you want to boycott Kamala, go ahead, be my guest. And also don't be afraid of these black liberals talking junk, right? Because they are massive, massive, massive uh, hypocrites for what they're doing. And they should rightfully be called out for folding, right? Folding uh, on the boycott <laughs> just because they want a so-called black mascot in the White House. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black sort of perspective. Peace.